Hello. Hello, I'm C3PO, and I represent Team Promise. I'm here to explain to you the digital divide. Here in the 21st century, many of us take for granted the use of technology. It's all around us. Computers, cell phones, Blackberries, and more are part of our everyday life. In this age, it is important to remember that there exists a digital divide, a division between those with access to the information and technology-rich world and those who don't. When we say digital divide, we mean both the hard and software that runs technology and the knowledge of how to use it. So who is divided? You may ask. Most often, the digital divide is drawn on socioeconomic lines, but it can also be an issue of race or geography. The digital divide is both a national and international phenomenon. Let's take a look at some examples. These power lines are something that many of us see every day, but in some parts of the country and all around the world, they don't have electricity, let alone the infrastructure such as cables, which allow TV and internet. Although most university students have access to their own computer or a computer lab, okay. this real-life excerpt from a letter highlights this is not always the case. This 22-year-old college senior from the University of Cape Coast in Ghana asks his American friend to help him with the cost of a desktop so he's able to complete his work and graduate. You've always been so nice and kind to me, and I appreciate it all from the bottom of my heart. I'm very sorry to bother you with this petition. I hope you will forgive me, though. Due to my project work, it is requisite of me to have a computer. Although I cannot afford a laptop, as at now, I raised some money in order that I buy desktop. This will cost 8,000 CDs, which is approximately $850. I managed to raise an amount of 3,800 CDs, approximately $400. Please, Aaron, I wish you can help me with about $400 or whatever you can afford. I will really appreciate it and will be forever grateful, I to you. Below is my school address and cell phone number. Now that we understand what the digital divide is, let's look at what we can do to close the gap. The expensive nature of software is easiest to correct. Open source, free software, and open access movements are gaining ground and are an extremely useful altern alternative. The hardware is slightly more difficult to correct, but because technology changes so fast, the best computer of this year could be out of date in two years. Computers, as well as other technology d technological devices, can be donated as opposed to sold, or worse, thrown away. Further, the laying of power lines and cables to provide internet access can be very expensive. Nonetheless, technologically developed countries or localities should hold themselves responsible for sharing their expertise. Cultivating human resources or teaching people to use the technology that they have comes down to education at all levels, whether it is among disadvantaged groups in America or across the Atlantic in the most remote parts of Africa, teachers play a critical role in closing the digital divide. We live in a globalized world and technology is being used to connect people like never before. Let us be sure that no one is left behind as we leap into the future.